Hey, decided to come out and do a quick garden tour. And as you can see, for that tomato, looks like it's dying pretty much. But I'm not going to give up on it and pull it out because it's about to be a rainstorm. Oh, look at that big bug right there. It's about to be a rainstorm either today or tomorrow. And you're thinking, like, it's going to be a rainstorm. Yeah, it's sunny. And pretty much everything over there on this rack all died. Even those tomatoes that were doing really good. Today was a heat wave. And then, oh, what's over here? Let's see. Yeah, it's not putting off any tomatoes. And a few that were left that I didn't pick. Something ate it. And pretty much everything on there died except I see some tomatoes left. But all the lettuce and everything died. The asparagus in here that I was going to throw away is actually doing pretty good. And then you see all those tomatoes. There's some tomatoes. There's some tomatoes. This one I can tell I planted it by itself and those were from a tomato. And there's a bean. And then there's an aloe vera. And then I planted that tomato and it died, but there was a heat wave. And then my strawberries. I also haven't watered anything in a while either because I was busy. But like, look at these. These runners have gotten so big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, ten. Ten runners right there. And those tomatoes are getting big. Strawberries are still doing good. Oh, since I need the top of that tomato. And the mint spreading. And some of these tomatoes are getting big. Like, look at that one. And that one, I planted from a tomato. And this is another one, but that one's going to die. It's pretty obvious because it's dried up right there. And I haven't watered these things in days. I just showed you how good these green stalks are. And then the mint that I thought was going to die. And then there's a strawberry. And they're still producing strawberries, but something was eating my strawberries. And all this mint. There's the spearmint. Your babuena mint. The apple mint. Yeah, that's doing good. And then all this is doing good. There's beans, strawberries, runners. There's some dill in there. Oh, this is a big strawberry runner right here. I didn't even see this before. Oh, oh, right here, this strawberry runner. And then I guess there's one right here that rooted. Oh, so that's really good. But this is a big strawberry runner. Yeah, and over here, let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's a lot of beans down there too. Yeah, it looks like I have 11 strawberry runners on here, and then that's blooming, and there's stuff in there. Everything's doing great, and there's some more dill and some beans. And let's see, I have a, some stuff down here, some tinier tomatoes. There's a one that's a little bit bigger. Some beans. That's either like a squash or a cucumber or something. I'm surprised that's still left because all the other ones that I've planted that were bigger than I transplanted, they die. These beans are getting pretty big. I probably have to put on there. And then the strawberries on here, I'm surprised they're doing so well. Yeah. Some stuff looks dead, but then other stuff's thriving. Because like that all looks dead, but then there's like plants in there and they're rooting and doing great. And then this one, I was surprised by. Oh, my tomatoes on here. My tomato, big one right there. I haven't tied it up lately and it got bigger, but it's still it's not producing. But you can see some of the tomatoes are turning red because I didn't think those would ever turn red. But look at this. I have all this kale right here. 
Oh, and there's still some lettuce under here. I thought the lettuce died, but we still have some lettuce under here. And some, looks like cilantro. And this, that's either like a cucumber or a squash or something, I think. And then there's that. That is either a cucumber, squash, or a melon or something. And then this, I haven't, I have, it's been even longer since I've watered this. And that's still alive, doing great. But a lot of stuff on this one's empty. But these tomatoes have gotten huge and I planted these from seed. They're starting to get big and then I have some green beans in here. I'm probably just gonna let those um, dry out or whatever. And oh, a bug was on me. Dry out and then replant those because I have some other beans that I planted but I didn't get that many. So I'm probably gonna replant. And then there's something under there growing. I don't know what that is. But I see something growing. And this looks like it's a bok choy. And then we have some beans. There are a lot of beans over here. And that's a tiny little tomato. Oh, and then there's this big tomato right here that I planted from seed. Yeah, because some stuff in here is just a little messy. But these tomatoes have gotten pretty big because I think I've planted most of these from seed because this one, I don't think I put anything in. And then there's some lettuce in there still. And a few tomatoes. And I just try and put the tomatoes in the water tank to control them to some extent. But I think something was eating out of here because I see what looks like bird poop. And then this is a better view of the kale. And then you can see that really well, the tomatoes. And then this did not do as well. I guess the heat killed it. Well, it's not dead yet, but I'm gonna leave it there and see how it does. And there's all that over there. I can pick those when I get around to it. Yeah, so everything in the garden's still doing good and I haven't really made any effort. I just showed you how good the green stalks are and stuff and it's been a heat wave like up to one day I think it was like 115 yeah but this dot oh it's not dead yet but almost there so if you like subscribe watch comment all that good stuff thanks for everything bye